This is a Sterling engine, a miniature version of the real thing to be specific. And I'm not just showing you this engine to show you this engine. I actually have a plan in mind. If you've seen any of the previous episodes, you know that I like pushing things to their limit. And this is gonna be no different. I wanna see what the maximum RPM is that I can get out of this engine with the intention of blowing it up. But before I do that, I wanna show you how this engine runs, the way it comes if you buy it, and then move into the high RPM runs right after that. As you can see, this engine's pretty cool. It functions perfectly, it runs, it's a real engine. In my opinion, this is an awesome little engine for the price because it's literally a miniature version of the real thing. I think a lot of people would enjoy this engine, so I put a link in the description below if you wanna buy one, and I get credit for every single one that you buy. So buy as many as you want. And the way these Sterling engines work is you have a hot piston here, a heat exchanger and a cold piston here. They take the heat that's created from the flame and this hot cylinder and convert it into rotational force. I did a little video where I run this engine nonstop for three hours straight. Now that you saw how this engine runs normally and we know that it can run for at least three hours, I wanna see not how long it'll run but how fast it can run. And the way I'm gonna do that is by turning up the heat. Now I'm going to heat it up with the map gas as hot as I can get it and let's see how fast we can get this thing to go. Right away it started moving. Here we go. Maximum RPM. Oh yeah. Jeez, it's practically melting the glass and it's still not, nothing's happening.
All right, well, that, I mean, that answers that question. Looks like I got about 4,000 RPM out of this engine, which doesn't sound like a huge number, but if you think about the fact that most Sterling engines run between 400 and 600 RPM, with certain designs getting up to 1,200 RPM, well, 4,000 starts sounding pretty impressive. This was kind of unfortunate. I mean, we have some damage, but not really the damage I expected. I mean, the whole engine is pretty hot. This whole thing is hot, even this. But the weird thing is that the cylinder isn't damaged, but the piston has melted. If you look inside there, the piston is melted, but the cylinder is undamaged. And let me tell you, this, uh, this really surpassed my expectations. And uh, it's definitely worth the price that they're selling this thing for because if it took that, I mean, man, it's definitely worth its weight. In gold, <laughs> no, I mean, that's a little bit exaggerated. I can't believe the piston inside melted and the cylinder still intact. That's the strangest thing. I'm gonna actually try to take this apart and see uh, if we can see how this thing. Oh, actually, look at that. It's like loose in there. Look at this. What the heck? Oh, goes the weasel. Look at that. Oh wow, there's like some little O-rings in there. Oh. Look at that's our damage. Oh man, look at that piston. Looks like a little icicle. Yeah, I think this would have stood running a little bit longer, but it definitely melted the actual piston inside of there. Next thing I want to do, I want to open this up and see if we can somehow just take this apart. Crazy, look at that. This is just like a steel piston inside of a piece of glass that fits inside of another glass tube which is the cylinder wow that's crazy so that means it fits so tight in there wow how they get that to such a fine tolerance is beyond me all right so now i'm going to take this little retaining ring off for the connecting rod and i think this whole piston is going to slide right out of that cylinder Oh yeah, that comes right off. Well, wow, this is kind of cool. You could take this whole thing apart with no tools. Oh, there it goes. I could just slide this whole piston right out. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow, that's pretty cool. This is super simple. Look at that thing. It's just this piston. That steel piston inside with the connecting rod is attached to like this glass piston. So it looks like you could just, oh yeah, there you go. And this piston slides inside. Oh, look at that. This all comes apart, no tools. That's pretty cool. So I guess all I need is this glass piston right here and uh, I'll be back in business. So maybe I should try that and try this one more time. Let's see what's inside there. It's just like a little glass tube. Wow, it's really such a simple engine. It just has like a, it's just like a hole in the heat sink and a little vent hole here, two pistons, two connecting rods and flywheel and a counterweight. I wonder why this engine never made it. That was pretty uneventful. I didn't even get to do any of my load test or my second idea because the engine didn't make it through the first idea. But I told myself if something's intended to be a full episode and it doesn't work out, I'm still gonna post it because sometimes things just happen, but they're still cool to see. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the notification bell because there's some options there. And uh, that's about it. See you soon. Give me the guard and I'm on my way. All right, here I go.